Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see uh, one more concept in data structures that is rehashing. Rehashing. So we have seen in our previous sessions about hashing and hash functions and what is a hash code and how the data will be stored in the hash table. right? And also we have seen how the collision will be occur and whenever the collision occurs what are the different collision handling techniques. Now here the name itself indicates rehashing means increasing the size of the hash table. So it means increasing size of hash table. So why it requires? Why it requires? So we know that the entries will be there in the hash size and we have to store the keys or elements into those entries. For example, so this increase will be depending upon a term called load factor. So this is a new term, load factor, load, okay. So here, always the load factor, I'll write the formula so that you can understand. So load factor is equal to the number of keys or elements which we want to insert, right? by hash table size hash table size so if we are having 10 elements and if the hash table size is 20 there is no problem there is no problem but if we are having the elements 20 and hash table size is 10 okay so here there is no problem but we are having a 20 elements with a hash table size is 10. There is a problem. Because we can't store the 20 elements into the 10 entry hash table. So the load factor, the load factor should always less than 1. So here you can see this is 0.5. Okay, less than 1. But here it is so 2. So greater than 1. So here the load factor should always be less than 1. We have to take care about that. Whenever this load factor reaches towards a 1, immediately we have to increase the size of the hash table. Okay, so for example, if load factor becomes some 0.9, that is almost is equal to 1, right? So in further, no, number of elements can't be inserted into the hash table. In such case, immediately we have to increase the hash, uh, the hash table size. So this is most important. Load factor should always be less than 1. Okay. Now, for example, K is a elements and N is a hash table size. Hash table size. Then hash function is equal to, we know that K mod N. So whenever this becomes, whenever this load factor is almost equal to 1, immediately we have to change the hash size. So H dash is equal to K mod N dash. N dash is a new size. Okay. H dash is a new hash function. So what we have to do? Immediately whenever it becomes 1, so the first step, increase. hash table size the first step is increase the hash table size and the second step apply new hash function to all existing elements so whenever we increase the size automatically the complete procedure should be repeated with a new hash sets. So this is important. This is important. Okay, let us take an example. Let us take an example. I hope you know, you, you understood the good, what is a load factor and based upon the load factor, we are increasing the hash table, right? Now, example, let us take. Let us take the hash size. Hash table size is 5. 
So there will be one hash table with which can hold some five elements: zero, one, two, three, and four. So the elements elements are ten. 21 32 43 okay so we know that 10 mod 5 which is 0 so obviously the 10 will be stored at 0 21 mod 5 which becomes 1 so 21 will becomes here and 32 mod 5 which will be 2 so in 2 we are inserting 32 similarly 43 mod 5 so which will be 3 here we, are, we got it okay now the hash table is almost equal to 1 okay we are having 4 elements table size is 5 almost is equal to 1 so then we have to increase the hash table so increase size of hash table how much we need to increase that is a question how much this is the question so always the hash size of the hash table should be increased to nearer prime which is greater than 2 power n so this size should be increased to closest prime number prime which is greater than 2n that means a double the size double the size now here n is how much n is 5 n is 5 so what is a 2n value 2n value is a 10 so we, which we have to find out this is a closest prime okay so this is a increased size increased size this is a in very very important term right so how much we have to increase that we have to increase to closest to prime which is greater than 2 2n so 2n is 10 so the closest prime number 11 which is greater than 10 so now the modified size n dash will be 11 okay now what we have to, we have to do so we have to apply the same thing once again so 10 mod 11 so here whenever n n size becomes 11 automatically it will also be increased right so 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so total size is 11 now okay so 10 mod 11 which is 10 so this will be erased so we have to apply the same hash function with a new table size now it is 11 right so previously it is 5 now it is 11 so we have to apply the same thing with new size so what is the value so in the 10th position we are supposed to give a 10 here and next 21 mod 11 okay 21 mod 11 21 mod 11 means again how much 10 so again there is a collision now we have to apply the collision handling techniques any one of the collision handling techniques and we have to uh, find the position of this particular uh, sorry this particular element where to be inserted so increasing the size of hash is not sufficient after increasing increasing the size of the hash we have to follow the same procedure with a modified um, hash size so previously we have done with this file now it is 11 so we have to apply the same hash function with the modified size 11 and we have to store the elements into the new hash table with the increased size so finally so when we have to increase means depends upon the load factor how much we have to increase means 2n right prime nearer to greater than 2n prime nearer to greater than 2n so these are the two important things we have to remember in rehashing so the name itself indicates we are rehashing that means we are doing the same function after increasing the table size
right? So, yes, I'll stop here. Uh, I hope you understood this one. And uh, if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.